you know, uh, actually for domain joins, I can use computers. What's up? If we're ready with DC, should we also do the DC HP? So it automatically populates like Windows? No, I don't do it. That was for. Cool. Okay. So I created this fucking DTP folder, right? And inside this DTP folder, I have these four folders: 06, 21, 31, 71, and security group. So I added uh, all the accounts in here, right? In the logon names, make sure they have the ch uh, change their password next logon, and I also added them to the proper security groups, which are one those were. I did that for all three security groups, right? Which looks something like this: DC admins, DC all users, and the MOSs, and admins. The admin security group is a member of account operators and server operators, right? So it inherits those permissions. You see all users is a member of these guys. Actually, I think I, should, I, think I need to reverse it, but whatever. Yeah. Oop. It is like 10 minutes, okay? So now these guys are all a member of DSD all users. This is all you need for your OU structure. This is all it should be. These are your users. These are your OUs. What? New. Part. It's Google. Okay. So, GPOs. Um, about background, right? So, we want them to have the unclassified user background. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a copy of that. So, honestly, get great with paint. I'll appreciate it. It'll make me laugh, probably. Some of you guys are not that funny, though, so. But in this case, we're going to go with the, the good old Sunday sucks. What's up? You're tracking 1450, right? Yeah. Uh, for clients, they want to do so, fucking save it as whatever. We can sort whatever we want to. Save it there. Some pictures. Okay. So they get the group policy, their tools, their group policy management. So now here is a. Uh, here's like our. Active directory structure, right? And so any any group policies applied. Um, think about it like the like like, like so if I, if I put a group policy here, right, it's going to apply to all of these. Okay. If I put a group policy here, it's only going to apply to the main controllers. Does that make sense? Yes. Well. So I want everybody to have this background. This great background. So I have to right click on my domain here. Create a GPO on this domain and link it here. Group policy object, and call it wallpaper. Very quick move. Click it, right click, edit it. And then in here, we can choose. We want it to apply computers or users. In this case, we'll do by users. So we go to, I think it's preferences, right? No, policies. Policies. Windows settings, and then, where's the mission? No, it's mission templates. I fucking hate this. There's so many group policy objects. So, use the paper to follow the stuff. Put it in here. Right here. Yep, so desktop, desktop. And so, these are some things you can, you can choose. Uh, 
on the desktop, so for him deleting or adding items or whatever, like icons to the desktop and shit. <coughs> we want the desktop wallpaper. So we're gonna double click it, it's gonna open up. Howdy, howdy. Are you busy? A bit, why? Okay, so open up your little file explorer, find your file, in this case it's right here. You can also browse right to it. Right click it, properties, and then this is a location, right? But it doesn't actually have the actual full file path. It doesn't matter for me though. Copy. We're gonna go back into the GPO. We're gonna enable this with so these populate, paste, and then add a little slash, sunde, PNG, pretty sure, probably. So by the way, the default, you don't actually see the file extension, but you can see it right here. Or if you go to view, and then uh, file name extensions. <coughs> All of your style center is fine. Apply it. Okay. Awesome. Now we have our first group policy done. Next one. Force new password requirements. So for this one, in the default domain policy, you don't actually create a GPO for the password policy, okay? In the default domain policy, go to the settings tab, you can see it right here, right? So we can edit this one. So this will actually show you where to go too. So under computer configuration, policies, windows settings, security settings, we have the password policy. So we're gonna open up edit, policies, what is it, software settings? Windows, policies, windows settings, there we go. Windows settings, security settings, right here. Then we have choices. So in account policies, we have a password policy. We so double clicked it, and now let's see what our requirements are. So we need, so age of 30 days. It needs to be eight characters long. Uh, password complexity needs to be enabled. Password history is 10 passwords. So you can't use the same password again until it's 10 passwords ago, essentially. The block out is 30 minutes. So, Password history, double clicked it, I set the 10. Apply, password age. Password's gonna expire in 30 days. It's gonna prompt you to create a new one. Password must be meet complexity requirements, it's already enabled. And then sort passwords using reverse encryption is disabled. Then there's an account lockout policy, and the account lockout duration. Define it, 30 minutes. Apply. So the threshold after five invalid logon attempts, it's gonna be for uh, 30 minutes. It's gonna auto set this one for us. That's it. Get your password policy. Okay. Now, we need to create a shared drive. Either with a shared folder or a mapped drive. Or a, sh or a shared disk, rather. So, the way to do this, so we're gonna do it both ways. So, I'm just gonna create a new group policy right under my domain, like it here, we name it shares. So, first thing we have to do is make our make our shit. So, for the shared folder, all I'm going to do is in my C drive, I'm going to make a new folder and name it share folder. Like that. 
I'm going to right click it, go to properties, and go to sharing. I'm use advanced sharing. I'm going to share this folder. What's the share name going to be? Share folder. Apply. Okay. And then close. It's now shared. <coughs> Easy as that. For a sh um, an actual drive, what you do is you're going to go into vSphere, go into your virtual machine, right click it, edit settings, and you're going to add a new device. So you're going to add a hard disk. Default size is fine, you leave it line at 40 gigs. After that, you're going to press OK. Then you go back into your domain controller. You close out of this, you can minimize group policy. Now we need to go to file and storage services. We're going to go to disks. And you'll see right here we have a 40 gigabyte disk, but it's unknown. So we're going to right click it, new volume, click next. So we're going to provision it to our server, and then this is the disk we're going to, we're going to provision. Next, select the disk we brought online, initialize the GPD disk. Good for me. The volume size, keep it at 40 gigs, and the drive layer, make it S. Next, file system NTFS is fine, allocation unit size is fine as uh, default, and the volume label, share, drive. that, I'm going to click on next, and then create. Sweet. Now we have our disk. So now we need to go into File Explorer, find share drive. You can do it through here too, through the actual file and storage services, but this is a simpler way. Right click the drive, go to properties, Sharing, then share again, share this folder, share name, share drive. Apply it, okay, close. Now we have our share drive and our share folder. We, we want them to be automatically mapped to any domain going computer or server. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to uh, go back into group policy, go into our shares GPL, edit it, and then user configuration, uh, finish policies, and then preferences. Preferences, window settings? Yes. Yeah, so, preferences, window settings, drive maps. Right click it, new, map drive. Keep action on update. <coughs> and we need to specify the location. So the easiest way to do that for this guy and the share folder is just to go here. So we have a share drive and share folder. Right? Super easy. So you can see that share drive, the file path is s colon backslash. So you just go in here. Oh, I'm just going to bring this back up. There you go. S colon backslash. Take the box, reconnect. Label it as share drive. Then it's going to ask for a drive letter. For this one, I'm going to use S. <laughs> Click apply. Press OK. Bam. Now. Do the same thing for a shared folder. Right click, new, map drive, location. Let's take a look. We've got over here, C colon backslash, share folder. So, in here, C colon backslash, shared folder. Reconnect, label it as share folder. 
We'll use F for this one. We'll click apply. Press OK. And you're done. What else we gotta do? Okay, so now we gotta join our workstation to the domain, and that's it. Virtual machine. Next. Last name, PC01. Next. Student lab. Scroll down, student pool. P60. Read the VSAN, 6.7, Windows. Now we're going to choose Microsoft Windows 10 64 bit. That will be like me. Instead of Server 2016, because I'm not using Server 2016. Using Windows 10. Enable Windows Virtualization Based Security. Click Next. CPU, uh, see if you can go to 4. Memory 8. Our disk is fine at 32. And then for our network, I change that. We'll choose our, our ISO file. Windows 10 right here. Where's we get Windows 10 from? Connect it. <laughs> Next, then finish. So much. Power it on. So you fucking right click on a, on a, on a fucking policy, right? Shows enforce right here, and it's not checked. Doesn't fucking matter. Enforce, all it means, so you can, if I was to go down here, right, I can block inheritance. And then, like this, this OU. If I was, if I was to uh, block inheritance, this OU would receive any of these you know, uh, group policies. But if you click it for on one of these, even if this guy has blocked inheritance, he'll still receive the group policy. That's all it means. Also, these aren't where your actual GPOs are. These are links. Your actual GPOs are in here. So they're linked to this guy, right? That's why they're. That's why they display here. If you want to actually remove a group policy object, you got to go to group policy objects here, right click it, and delete it. Anyways, okay, so fucking, let me just do this initial setup shit. I already did that for some reason. <laughs> I didn't. So the easiest way to get to, get to renaming this the computer is type in this PC. Right click it. Go to properties. Yeah, this is going to come up. No, chain settings right here. And then from here, click on change just like you would on the domain controller. I can name, I can name this fucking Yeah, I did the wrong thing. <coughs> oh yeah, Villa, all I did on your computer was all wrong. So, fucking, make sure I enter my domain controller in. It's a bit, it's <laughs> my DNS. Close it. My fault. I'm sorry.
Uh, oh. Join the computer in the domain. After that, we gotta fucking move the computer object to the computer domain. So, once again, Windows, Windows button, this PC, <laughs> properties, change settings, change, and then we're member of domain. In this case, last name dot local for me. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> well, now I'm stuck. Tell me I'm wrong. There we go. Okay, it's gonna prompt you. So you're typing in your fucking your credentials. Alright, last name. Make sure you specify the domain. Because you have two accounts of. Uh, uh, named administrator. You have your local administrator, you also have this one. So you make sure they specify which one. In this case, we want the one on the domain already. Fucking password. Yeah, we fucking take it Okay. So. Okay, now it's got to restart. Again. See, and a domain account, if I type in just the account name, it switches over to the local computer, okay? So we need to specify that we're trying to log in at our domain. Hello, Windows. Hi. I might have, I might have missed that the wallpaper path, so it's just black, but I'll fix that in a second. Um, <laughs> Yeah, what's wrong with it being black, bro? <laughs> okay, so we can look though, right? So we go here, this PC. I actually didn't fuck nothing to do the group policy at all. So if you need to force group policy changes, this is the way to do it. GP update slash force. Yeah, it's fine. No, it's working. It's fine. It's fine. If this doesn't work, we need to check something. You broke it. Get over here. Alright. So, what the issue probably is, is that our computer is outside. Where should it be? Take this guy. Why are you doing it like that? Dragon. Why you gotta do me like that? Into here. Get on warn us. Don't care. Man. What? I just found out that Robert Einstein was a real person. He was? I don't know. All this time I thought he was just theoretical. <laughs> Wait, are you fucking? Smart. smart people do. Yeah, but that's not Did you get the joke though? No, 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 no. Because I thought he was a theoretical. You're so funny. Oh my god. We were doing sharing knowledge with each other. Oh, you know what? I fucked it up, man. That's why. For this guy, right? for the share drive, you need to get the network pad. I showed you guys the local pad. You guys fucking did. I'm trying to rush through this so fast. Oh my god, so half the video is wrong. Same thing. Preferences, Windows settings, drive maps. And then, so here, the properties, change location. Okay. So good. Fly. The same thing. The share folder. There it is. So now I got the share drive, just like that. Mine's 100%. The same thing here. Properties. Sharing. Copy this guy. All your folders? Thank <laughs> you. 
So now we have our share drives. So we run TV update again, our, our walkthrough is update now too. What the fuck is happening? 